Elizabeth Nikki Gen Geneva Craig was born into a world of segregation and yet found a way to help change her future and the future of others for the better. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. The organization that Dr. King's and the Civil Rights Movement brought to us helped us to move forward. As a young teenager in the Civil Rights Movement, Rogue Valley resident Geneva Craig was a witness to the oppression and racism of the middle 20th century. In Selma, Alabama, that's what I knew. Black people, white people. And I knew that I was on the inferior side of, you know, the racist. Segregation made me angry. Geneva remembers vividly the anger that drove herself and many others into the movement. We were there because we all wanted change. We didn't want to live like our parents had lived. No, change. One man stood at the forefront organizing and leading the cause. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a man with a dream and a drive to accomplish a difficult feat. Geneva says Dr. King pulled her aside once and spoke with her, leaving a lasting impression with one word, patience. He gave me the one word and I dwelled and it stayed with me. So that was important. He reinforced in his teaching to the youth that education was the way, education is the key. At a ceremony honoring Dr. King earlier Sunday in Medford, Geneva shared her incredible story and words of experience. Events today echo the struggles of her time in the movement but Geneva firmly believes things will only get better. Dr. King showed her there was another way besides anger to accomplish one's dreams and bring about lasting change. The lessons we learn from history help us to not make the same mistakes going forward, but it also gives us clues and insight to the path that we need to go down, the way to go, the strategies that we can incorporate to make change that's better for everyone. Geneva says she achieved her dream of becoming a registered nurse and now travels around teaching others what she learned during her time in the civil rights movement. Live in studio, Miles Fruigi, NBC5 News. Thanks, Miles.